idea came about in 2017. At that time, I'd been working in Tanzania uh, in the marketing and advertising industry. So I came back, and when I got back here, we had to look at something that we needed to do, not only to generate income, but also to create wealth for uh, our other generations, our children and uh, um, our grandchildren. So we did our research and realized, yes, it's possible to uh, manufacture pencils from recycled newspaper. And then working backwards, looking at the raw materials and everything, we realized that all the raw materials that we needed were readily available and they were very cheap uh, here in the country. The only thing that we import from outside is the graphite that is used as the lead for writing. For now, we are focusing on the pencils only. Uh, the reason is because it, it took quite some time to get to where we are. Uh, one of the things is that was, was, was to get the right uh, technology and then once the technology was there to train ourselves and train our team to come up with a perfect pencil, then after that we had to get our products through Kenya Bureau of Standards for certification uh, and once we passed that then we had to get our brand uh, trademarked. So all that process takes time. We've been around several schools and we realized even a pencil that may look very small between you and me is a challenge to some families. Sometimes they have to decide between going hungry and that child getting a, a pencil to go to school. So you find some children dropping out of school or missing classes for that matter. I'm the factory manager at more and more company limited. So basically I'm in charge of the production process. First stage is when we receive the newspapers, we cut them. There is a specific size of length and width. So we'd cut the newspapers then we go to the next stage, basically is pasting. We call it pasting, where the graphite is dipped into a special kind of uh, adhesive or glue. Then it is, uh, the, the graphite is then stuck into the middle of the paper. Then we go to the third stage. The third stage basically is the rolling part, where we turn the, the, news, the cut newspapers with the graphite in, inside it. It is, rolled in, it is rolled by a machine into a cylindrical shape where we achieve the cylindrical or rather the pencil shape. Then after that, uh, we have to dry the pencil. So after drying, then we'd uh, polish the pencils because uh, you know when you dry them outside, uh, the blowing wind, dust and stuff, they kind of get a bit rough and we wouldn't want that into the final product. So we'll polish the pencil, then after that we'll, we'd cut the pencils into a length of about 18.5 to 19 centimeters. Then after cutting, we'd insert it or rather we'd film it. If we have a special order, we, we also do customization. So for instance, a company would want to do a CSR or maybe an organization have a seminar. They want to have a customized pencil with their logos and you know company themes and colors and such. The second uh, final step is uh, sharpening. Also with sharpening, we, have, we can do it two ways, either manually or using a, ma a machine. So depending on the size of the order, we'd uh, decide. Prices range, the cheapest goes for uh, 15 shillings. Actually, we have the cheapest going for 10 shillings and pencils go up to 50 shillings, depending on the range and depending on, on who we are targeting. The 10 shillings uh, pencils are targeting the mass market. Then we have other uh, range of pencils which you call the heritage pencils. For us, the heritage pencils is, is what we use to symbolize our um, uniqueness as Kenya. We have pencils that show um, Kenyan locations, uh, Kenyan identity. So they're branded like that. We have uh, pencils that have a unique African uh, design, unique African texture. So those ones are a, a little more expensive. And customized pencils are also a little more expensive because of the quantities that are required. And they're unique because they're just specifically for a few people.